Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to add plugins to your Minecraft server, specifically your bucket server. You must have a bucket server in order to add plugins to it. It could actually be bucket, spigot, or paper, and this method will work, but it is important that you have one of those three servers in order to add plugins. You can't add plugins to a vanilla Minecraft server. It just doesn't work that way. You need bucket, spigot, or paper in order to add plugins to your server. If you want to set up a bucket server, we do have a tutorial on how to do that linked in the description down below. But it's even easier to start a bucket server or a paper server or a spigot server with Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your bucket, paper, or spigot server in just one click. We actually trust and love Apex so much that we host our own server on them, play.breakdowncraft.com. So if you're looking for a great Minecraft server that's up all the time, that doesn't use your own computer's resources, and that your friends can join off of just an IP address, and you can join off of just a VIP address. Apex Minecraft Hosting is the way to go. Check them out at the first link down below. Again, that is the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible bucket server quickly and easily. Now, the first step of adding plugins to your bucket server is finding some plugins. So in the description, we have this list. And this list is the top 10 plugins for bucket and spigot servers. And it goes through all of the best plugins for those servers. So we have everything from Essentials X to Fast Async World Edit to World Guard to Shop GUI Plus to Light Bands to Holographic Displays, Silk Spawners, MCMMO, Grief Prevention, all of that stuff is linked here. We're going to go ahead and grab Grief Prevention. I think that's a pretty good one. And um, let's see here. We'll grab Shop GUI Plus is a good one. It is a premium plugin, but we do own it. So we'll go ahead and grab that one as well. And then Fast Async World Edit is good, but um, we'll grab Essentials X because Essentials is, well, essential to Minecraft. Now, there is one caveat with Essentials X. Um, if you see here, you will need Vault in order to run Essentials X. So Essentials X requires Vault. So we want to make sure we get that as well. So let's go ahead and download this. First and foremost, as you can see, we want to make sure this is updated to 1.14, and it is. So we can go ahead and download the Essentials X here. It's going to download in the bottom left. Now, Vault is also going to be needed, and I know Vault works on this 1.14.4. So go ahead and download that it is safe to keep if you're on Mozilla Firefox it'll ask you to keep it in the center of your screen grief prevention now grief prevention is interesting it's actually not updated officially to 114.4 but I know it works so we're gonna go ahead and download that file and keep grief prevention um, I forget what this was this was shop GUI plus so we do need a login to grab shop GUI plus um, we'll go ahead and log in and grab it real quick boom and then we can get click download as you can see this is for 114 as well so if we download that in the bottom left we can keep shop GUI plus and we are good so we now have all these plugins downloaded and if we minimize our browser here they are we have vault right we have Grief Prevention and we have Shop GUI Plus. Now Essentials X is a little weird because it actually have to open up a file here and then go into Essentials X. You can see Essentials X, Anti-Build, Chat, all this stuff, whatever you want you can grab, but you must have Essentials X and the rest of these are add-ons. So we're gonna grab Essentials X, Essentials Chat, and Essentials Spawn and drag those to our desktop. The rest of them I don't really have any interest in installing in this video. So nevertheless, they're all the plugins we're going to be installing, six of them. So if we go ahead and open up mine or our bucket server here as you can see this is just our local bucket server if we open that up we'll have a plugins folder and no matter whether you're on apex minecraft hosting whether you're on your own server or whether you're on like a dedicated server you've bought whatever it is you're going to have a plugins folder to put your plugins in if you have a bucket spigot or paper server so just go ahead and open that plugins folder and then it's as simple as dragging and dropping your plugins into the plugins folder and we want to go ahead and double click on the run.bat file to start up our server. While that's starting up, I'm actually going to open up Minecraft. I thought I had it open already, but I apparently had closed it by accident. And if we actually look over here, we'll see some of these plugins enabling. Now, you might not see all of them, but I'll show you how to check that they're all enabled once we get in game. But as you can see, we do have vault enabling with the economy. We have shop GUI plus loading. We have essentials loading, essential spawn, essentials chat. And then there should be grief prevention somewhere in there. Um, as well loading on up but nevertheless once that's all loaded up as you can see preparing spawn area getting all that stuff and then it will say done well once it's done and everything has been loaded there it is Greek prevention loading up and then shop GUI plus essentials everything else loading up as well and there it goes it says done now we can go ahead and direct connect we're just going to use our local IP address because this is a local server and then we're going to join on in we'll see me join in over here and then I'll show you in game how to see what your plugins are now the first thing you want to do right is uh, actually make sure that the plugins are loaded and you'll need need op to do this, so come over here to your server or console if you haven't already, and op yourself by typing op and then whatever your username is. In my case, that's Nick's Games, and hit enter. And as you can see, nothing has changed. I was already an operator. Now, once we're here and once we're in game, just do slash plugins, right? So slash plugins, right like so, and you'll be able to see all of the plugins we installed. As I said, we installed six plugins, so that's Vault, Grief Prevention, Shop GUI Plus, Essentials, Essentials Spawn, and Essentials Chat. You can then check also some of the features, right? So if we do, for example, with grief prevention, if we get ourselves a golden shovel, we'll be able to use that as our claim shovel. So we can go ahead and get a golden shovel real quick, place a claim there, and then come over to here. And if I have enough claim blocks, 
go ahead and do that. And yeah, we don't have enough claim blocks. That's what I figured. But if we, we go ahead and just place, so there we go. So boom, now we have a Greek prevention claim. Anything in there will be protected. If we do slash shop, I believe, yep, there is a default shop GUI here that we can like go into and check out and everything like that. Buy stuff, all of that stuff is available and we can do it. Now we can also check on, what was the other plugin? Essentials, Essentials has all sorts of stuff. Being able to do, for example, slash fly is an Essentials command, slash GMC is an Essentials command, instead of having to do slash game mode. Um, what is another Essentials command? You can do eco give me, thousand dollars and that is essentials as well and that actually works with vault in order to execute that command which uh, proves vaults install so yeah i think we went through all the plugins there and that is how you can install plugins in minecraft one dot also kits kits are another thing sorry it's kind of cool you do kit like i don't know notch for example we'll get uh, a head so player head pretty cool so nevertheless if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. But that is how you can add plugins to your Minecraft 1.14.4 server. If you have any questions about adding plugins to your 1.14 server, let me know in the comment section down below. And come be sure to play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Both of our survival servers actually have Greek prevention and um, essentials and all that stuff. One of our survival servers has a slash shop based economy that's going to be aquatic survival which has shop GUI plus. Our skyblock server has shop GUI plus on it as well and then we have a medieval survival server with over 20 custom quests on it and uh, it's player based economy no slash shop all that stuff. It's a really really cool thing and I think you'll absolutely love it so come play this at play.breakdowncraft.com and check out some of these plugins for yourself. Anyway my name is Nick this has been The Breakdown thank you so so much for watching give the video a thumbs up to help subscribe to the channel and I am out. Peace.